Hey folks, this is Don from BrainBlinks.com and I've got another developer diary for you today. I've been working on my gravity simulation called Chunky Orbits. It used to be called Gravitas, but I changed the name to avoid a conflict with another game. And uh, I like this name better, it's a little more friendly, a little more descriptive of what is actually going on. Uh, but I've got it on Steam Early Access and uh, the version up there that I put up to begin with was working with gamepad it's kind of a finished experience with the gamepad and VR but I'm using early access to add support for track controllers the Vive Wands and Oculus Touch and uh, I'm hoping to get some feedback from players and some good ideas about what they want to see in the room scale version of this sim and so far it's going great it's really fun uh, to be in there just in this big empty space with no cockpit or any distractions. It's just you and the chunks and gravity. <laughs> and what I really want to show today is a new movement system I've got for the game. I'm calling it pinch and pull until I get a better catch your name for it, but it's kind of weird so I thought it'd be good to have a video demonstration for the people who are going to try it. So let's get it going here. Let's see. Let me see if I can get centered in front of the camera here. That's good enough. Okay, so um, this movement uses your arm motions and the grip buttons. So to start moving, you hold down the grip buttons, one on each side, and then to move, you just pull your hands apart or bring them together. So you can pull them apart to zoom in on something, pull them back to go far away. And you can also control the direction that you're going to move by the way your hands are pointing. So if you hold both buttons down, you'll see a little green arrow there. And you'll notice if you move your hands, the direction changes. So you can go any direction in space easily and quickly and also with a lot of precision because uh, you know your hands are used to being using little fine adjustments or you can go big and just go very fast and uh, I don't know if it's the one-to-one -one relationship between the motion of your arms and the movement but the people who have had test this have said that it's very comfortable for them they're not getting that queasy feeling or that kind of unbalanced feeling you get sometimes when you move in VR that might have something to do with the fact that you're in a huge empty space in the sim here but um, I think it has a lot to do with you actually there's a direct correlation between the motion of your arms and the, and the movement that you're making so I'm pretty excited about this and uh, I'm really interested to get some feedback from people about what they think so once again just to be uh, try to clarify since it's a little weird you you hold both buttons pull your hands apart um, it's not a forward and backward motion uh, as one of my testers was trying to do that and that actually is a good idea too I might give that a try where you move like that but it's more like you have a, a tape measure between your hands and uh, the farther it goes out the farther you go forward put it in it goes in and uh, Right now I just have a few of the features of the sim um, implemented in this room scale version. I've got your standard rocks, i got your photon torpedo, you got to have some explosions and some particles, and i uh, got a big heavy planetoid that makes it easy to uh, get some orbits going on your own. And I got a big, the white dwarf, which is very heavy and uh, really likes to eat up those chunks. So there's plenty to play with in there right now. I've got some kind of uh, janky descriptions on all the features that you can play right now. But I got to figure out something a little more elegant than that. People don't like to look at their hands to uh, figure out what to do. Uh, you're not used to looking at your hands. You're just used to using them, so... <laughs> So far so good. I'm really excited about this room scale version of the sim. It's a lot of fun. 
and uh, it really lets you get up close and personal because you're it feels like you're in there now with when you got your hands and uh, the ability to move around real quick so so yeah if you want to uh, keep up to date on what's happened with chunky orbits you go by brainblinks.com look for the page or go to steam search for chunky orbits there's only two bucks on early access if you want to give it a try and uh, if you do get to try it, please do let me know what you think about that motion and anything else about the sim that you think would be interesting. So, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later. Bye.